Hello, I'm the Guitar Geek, and that massive sound you're hearing is coming from this mini Katana. I've modded the Katana Mini so that it's got an output jack, and it's now plugged into this Palmer cab, which has got a greenback speaker in it, and it sounds huge. This is a video teaching you how you can do that same mod. It's really, really simple, and if you can do basic soldering, like soldering jack cables and guitar cables, then you can do this mod. Not only does the mod open up the possibilities of what you can do with the Katana Mini, it is a cheap mod. We're talking about five euros, five pounds, five dollars. It's almost no money at all. This is the stock amp without the external speaker. So as you can tell, it's quite loud. And a little bit harsh. Now here's the amp running through the external speaker. It's very loud. So without further ado, here's how to do this modification. Here are the tools you need to do this mod. It's a small screwdriver, crosshead or Phillips to undo the screws and open up the Katana Mini. You need some heat shrink, um, two different colors, red and black. You need the socket. Now this is a switched stereo socket. It doesn't have to be stereo, it can be mono because you're only gonna use four pins and this has got six. However, um, this is the one I have in stock. So you need a switched, socket. Uh, what else? A pair of wire snips, something to remove solder with in case you uh, make any mistakes or you need to get some solder off the uh, speaker. You need a soldering iron. I'm running this quite hot. This is a 38 watt soldering iron. That should do it. You need some solder. You'll also need a drill. This is a stepped drill bit and you can just use a standard 10 mil. That's to put the jack socket through in the casing of the katana. That's the one that's really gonna mess up your warranty. I'm also using this steel wool to clean the tip of the soldering iron, and as always, something to put your screws in so you don't lose them. Also, before we start, a little disclaimer from me. By doing this mod, you will void any warranty you have on your Katana Mini. As with any modding electronics or fiddling around, if you've got a warranty left, it's gonna go when you start fiddling around inside. Um, be very, very careful. I only use batteries in my Katana Mini, so if you plug into the mains, then I can't really advise you to do that because you've just started filling around inside. You never know what might happen. So my advice is if you do this mod, use batteries from then on in. Thanks very much. Let's get on with it. Here's our starting point. This is the Boss Katana Mini completely stock as you buy it from a shop. The first thing you need to do is turn it over and take the screws out. There's six screws, one, two, three, four, five, and then a sneaky one in here in the battery compartment. So let's do that. That's it, that's all the screws out. And now if you turn it back over to its front, you can just pop this uh, front panel off like so. Here we are. This is the front panel off and inside is uh, all the gubbins, as my dad would say. And just here are the two connections we're interested in, the red and the black. The way I like to remember is red is on the right and the speaker is facing up because it's got some writing on it and black on the left. So I'm going to unsolder these two points. You can cut them, but I'm gonna unsolder them. The next stuff is uh, where it gets a bit messy. I've got red on the right, and I've got a gray which is substituting for the black. Here are the two cables that are coming from the amp. They normally send the signal straight to the speaker, but I've disconnected those from the speaker and added two new wires to the Katana Mini speaker. Red being red and gray substituting for the black. Braided them ever so slightly and sloppily. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this jack socket in the middle. It's a very simple setup. All you need to do is solder the red wire from the amp here and the red wire from the speaker here, the black wire from the amp here and the black wire from the speaker here. These pins you don't need and I've substituted the black wire from the speaker for a gray wire. First thing you do is slide on the heat shrink. Don't try and do that afterwards. Next thing is I'm going to wrap my wire around the pin there. And this is where I apply a little bit of solder and some heat. Next step is to slide the heat shrink over there and I'm using a lighter just to warm that up and shrink that bad boy. Okay, there we go. Um, now, the next one to do is the next pin. First thing, slide on the heat shrink. That's our speaker wire done. Now onto the amp side. I'm going to do the red first, so sliding on that 
heat shrink. And that's it, that's everything. So we've got red to red, black to black, gray, and these two pins we don't need. Now to test it, let's throw the batteries in there. Plugging it in, turning it on, all being well. Cool, not sounding great because it's uh, on the desk and not in the cabinet. So it's got a bit more resonance now. Now the moment of truth. I've got this plugged into a cab down here. Let's see if it works. <laughs> so now the internal speaker is disconnected and it is connected to this external speaker. Next up is the scary part, the hole drilling, the void of the warranty forever. Where you put this hole is kind of up to you, but I, I'm putting mine right here, um, making sure that it goes in between these support structures. Here I go. I'll go from the other side now, because it's easy to see. Take it up to 10 mil. Clean desk is a happy desk, and there we go. Blow that out, make sure you've got nothing hanging around in there. There's my socket. Now to attach the washer, and off we go. Here's my threaded washer. On there, holding from the other side. And if you don't want to go too tight because it's plastic. There we go. Our junk socket is in. Just check your wiring is fine before you start uh, putting things back together. Back together, and of course the last real step is to plug it into the external cab. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding this mod, then please ask me in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, give me a thumbs up, and if you subscribe, then make sure you click the bell button, which means that you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. T-shirts, link is coming right after this. Bye-bye.